Hey, it's Cricket and I'm at my hives at the Arizona Worm Farm. And it's 5.30 in the morning, um, 95 degrees, and I'm checking my hives. So this hive here um, had an ant problem and we solved that, but let me turn this around. Well, I can't, but well, anyway, I had an ant problem and that solved and now we have another problem so I have some collapsed comb in there because of the heat so we're gonna check that out okay here's something that you have to think about in Arizona this this natural comb right here that was wired still is collapsing and I notice there's honey dripping in here which is a big problem so I'm gonna have to take that out and let them eat it but check on everything down there because oh that could cause the whole bottom to fill up with bees that get stuck and then die and then can't get out or in the hive so that's what we're gonna look at right now welcome to 115 degrees So here's one problem that happens when comb collapses in your hive. It drips down here and creates a trap for your bees and then more bees are trapped and more bees are trapped until they actually close off their entrance and then they can't get out. So I'm going to scrape this out and hopefully the queen's not in there. So sad but that is Arizona. Here's another fun problem with a hive that isn't strong, and that would be the wax moth. So all of this is what the wax moth larvae create as they tunnel through and eat the comb. I did see one crawling around in there. It was pretty gross. Yeah. Anyway, they'll eat through your comb and then the bees can't use it. If it's a strong hive, they can usually take care of it before it gets this bad. But the ants have made this hive not so strong. And now the heat is melting the wax because they're not keeping it, they can't keep it cool enough. Plastic foundation really helps with that. Okay. 